Hello, here we are at the 355 under sidecar 250 championship. With the reigning champions, Clive and Lester. We'll talk to Clive first with it being his last meeting. Uh, Clive, you're looking to go out on a win today, obviously, to, for your long retirement. <laughs> yeah, I hope that we do win. I, I feel confident that we are going to win. Lester's going good. Uh, the bike's just been done again, so I feel quite good. And on your retirement from the sport? Oh, I'm sad I'm packing up, but uh, everybody has to pack up in the end, don't they? Yes, as I well known. Right, Lester, we've seen you, I've seen you out in practice. It looks fast, the track looks very fast, and you look like you're getting round fine. How did you feel yourself? Yeah, track feels good at the moment. Uh, I think it could be a bit dusty later. They just go careful with the water in, but bike feels good, everything feels good. We just made a few changes. Hope to go a bit faster now and get out there and win the title again. And one more practice maybe before you go out, or are you just going straight out to the race? No, we've made a few changes, so we've got to go out and try it. And if it's any better, then we'll leave it as it is. If not, we go back to what we started on. Right, thank you very much, boys. Have a good day. Cheers. Bye. Champions Nesta and Clive, good winner in this one, and they're away, but they're not in front of them. A bit of encouragement. It's one, four, three. Keith Richards and Phil Spencer at lead. Now to their first turn they go. The defending champions are up into second place. Looking at the back wheel of Keith Richards. Keith Richards, ex solo rider on 250 and 500cc machinery, living in the south, in the east. In the east, I'll oh, get it right in a minute, the southern centre. One, four, three. Not Lester and Clive Goodwin in second place, and they're really pushing hard for this one now. Right hard on the back wheel of uh, Keith Richards. Can the Goodwin find a way and here they come. What a racer. You can see why he's, and he's leading it. He wants it again this year. Lester and Clive Goodwin. From Keith Richards and Phil Spencer in second place. And who's that moved up into second from third? It's all action stations here. Keith Richards fights back. He's one wheel up level with the back wheel of that one in front of him, but he's not going to get there. It's Lester and Clive Goodwin. The power on ahead. The last lap flags out already. He'll quickly race Gary Lloyd is in their second place there with Richard Webb in the chair. Flat out down that straight they go and it's uh, going to be a good win for the good wins. Andy Hopkins with problems there at the back of the field. The checkered flag goes out. Lester and Clive Goodwin over there again with a win. Gary Lloyd. Uh, Mr Higgins in second place. There's Richard Webb in the program. I knew that wouldn't be right. But what a cracking race from the international class of sidecars. Official result with you in a moment. Sighting lap, they're well and truly away. Ras Palmer and Danny Holding. Mark Reed and Mike Reed and Mark Thorne were there in second place, but uh, they seem to have run away with it on that first corner. And Ras Palmer relegated to second. Now we know how he fought earlier in his earlier ride to regain the lead. Let's see what he can do in this one. It is a little slippery coming around that turn, but I think the track is drying. 
years of age yesterday. Help with a vengeance here this afternoon. Perhaps I could, if you could keep going like that all afternoon, I can retire. Here they come then, flat out. Mike Reed and Mark Ball. second place now, moving up through the field. Raz Palmer drops back to third. Nestor and Clive Goodwin. The defending champions, one win under their belt. And a second place in this one is good points scoring here. But look at Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Out in front and going places. He really means it this afternoon. High, wide and handsome. From Lester and Clyde Goodwin, from Brad Palmer and Danny Hall. In 91, Keith Drury and Richard Webb, who had a race win earlier on, they're relegated to fourth place at the moment. So strange things are happening, the points tables here. This will prove interesting, Lester and Clyde Goodwin getting the grips with it, the chequered flag is out, but Mike Reed takes it. Lester and Clyde Goodwin in second place there. Then Brad Palmer and Danny Hall. Then Keith Drury and Richard Webb. down there and get one and uh, a lady has lost a pair of gold rings as well. Find them, pick them up, put them in your pocket, bring them in to me. Here we go then. Lester and Clyde Goodwin didn't make the start that time but Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes did. Are they going to take valuable points off the defending champions here? The defending champions not making up a lot of ground at the moment but they are as they come around that corner. I spoke a little bit too soon. It's going to be a good one this one. Here they come. Second place. Trevor and Ronnie Stewart in third place. Oh, let's go. So the cat is definitely amongst the pigeons now, chaps. Let the dog see the rabbit or what? Here they come. And Trevor and Ronnie Stewart. It's all hot stuff here at High Easter. Last lap flag being made ready. Here they come then. One more lap to go. Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes. Second place pushing hard. And the final to come. There's no time to relax, but it's not time to do any feud either. Chris Salisbury, Gary Hughes leading it from Lester and Clive Goodwin in second place and they're really pushing hard for the line who's going to get there? Look at that! Well that was a tight finish that really really was a tight finish in there, I think we've got a race on our hands, Lester and Clive, good win to make it. Lester and Clive, we've come to the first third third. Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe are there in second place. Oh, 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 o
think he's just ended his championship hopes if he uh, goes down there. But between Raz Palmer and Danny Holt bringing up the rear. the turn then flat out look lovely dust free racing number three and uh, Danny Holt bringing up the rear here they come then the checkered flags out Lester and Clive good win Keith Rury and Richard Webb, Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. Race, Race number 35 in your program. We are looking at defending champion number three. Less than five will win. Off 24 points. Along with 22. Gary Lloyd and Dave Higgins on 22 points. Along with number 57, Mike Green and Mark Thorne, 24 points. That's all three of those. If any one of those wins this, they will automatically be the champion. Four points for now, 19 points for Trevor Connick Stewart. Who remember they should be home in their semi And it's 4 1 8, but it's good in the semi points. It's business now. Absolute business. And Lester Goodwin hit the first turn first. Lester and Clark Goodwin go for it. Chris Salisbury. Winning this race, even if he doesn't win the title. But it's Lester and Clark Goodwin, the defending title. Champion holders, here they come. Chris Salisbury means business on the inside. He's trying hard. So is Brad Farmer. Hog. They're all trying to make as many points as they can here. But it's Lester and Clive Goodwin from the southeast centre. Can they hold on to it? It'll be a southeast domination of two classes if we can. Lester and Clive Goodwin powering out of that turn. Chris Salisbury aiming on that inside line. It'll only take one minute. Lester's not a man for making mistakes at this level. And Lester and Clive Goodwin up on the right side. Chris Salisbury really means business. He's in there in second place. Feels robbed by that exclusion, but it was him who rolled over and caused the race to be stopped. That's the rules of grass track. Here they come, number three, Lester and Clive Goodwin. One, one, one lap away the doubles. It's Lester and Clive Goodwin going for it here this afternoon. Chris Salisbury is right there in second place behind him. Then it's Raz Palmer, a man who has won this title before, and he is indeed 50 years old, they tell me. So, uh, He's fighting fit for that age, and here they come. The checkered flag is out. It's going to be. Is it? It surely is. Take it. Chris Aubrey in second place. An absolute flyer of a race. Lester and Clive Goodwin, British champions, 1999 and 2000.
Lester and Clive Goodwin and family, British champions, 1999. And in first place this afternoon, I've just been reminded it was a hat trick. I can remember they did it last year and this year, but I must admit I've forgotten they did it the year before as well. A hat trick of British Championships, three in a row for Leicester and Clive Goodwin. Keith Drew is with the advantage. 
Andy Hopkins in second, Lester Goodwin in third, Chris Salisbury fourth, Gary Lloyd down in fifth place this time. He'd be really disappointed after leading in that first one. But Keith Drury, can he win the big whopper? Can he take a big victory? Outside, inside manoeuvre, he's on the outside. Bit of argy bargy, Lester Goodwin just sitting watching the scrap. He'll look to make a move if anybody makes a mistake. <laughs> make a move now. Andy Hopkins drives around the outside. Lester Goodwin follows him. So it's going to be Andy Hopkins and Guy Mitchell, the local crew. Goodwin goes through on Drury now, but it's too late to move now. Andy Hopkins and Guy Mitchell, the local crew. Well, what they waited, they watched and they waited, and they left it to the last lap, and then they pounced. And Leicester followed them through, but it was a bit too late, they had too much to do. In second place, he uh, won the British Championship again a few weeks ago. Leicester Goodwin with a new passenger today, Andrew Stevens. Hey, get your hand off of there. Back again. Oh, that's it, that's it. Oh, that's it. Open the flash, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> that's there. This new passenger. Where'd you find him? I don't know. Um, in the pub somewhere. You put a database in the local place there. Somebody in the must be on the back of one of these things. Now, you well, I know we mentioned about what a fantastic entry we've got here and of course what I've said in the introduction is that we're concerned about the conditions of the track. Lester Goodwin, first of all, a fantastic 500 sidecar entry. Yeah, it, you know, the club's tried their best to get some foreigners over and they've got one of the top Dutch over and two of the others so hopefully we can create some good racing. Well, indeed, but of course, I think the big, big question is, you've been out for practice now, we've seen the work going on on the bike, it's very, very deep, isn't it? The track is very deep, actually, you know, but it's the same for everybody, and the club is lucky it's on, really, and if the weather stays off, you know, hopefully we can get good racing and get on with the track and do something, so hopefully it's going to be some good racing later on in the day. Well, indeed, obviously we're watching with interest, but just coming back, really, to the competition, you mentioned one of the top stars from Holland, do you think that's really where it's going to come from? Yeah, William Matthyssen, he's the number one in Holland now. Marco Glory's packed up and he's really going quick. And there's going to be my brother Malcolm. Really, they're going to be the top two to beat today, but I'm up for it. So we're going to have a go. Well, there's one other little burning question I'm supposed to ask you, actually. I know I'm always embarrassed to even ask any rider this, but somebody shouted at me in the crowd over there. They said, I've got to ask you on video how old you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well there you go, at least I tried. Yeah. <laughs> but there we go. I mean, looking at the track, I mean, we know that Tunbridge has been this deep before. It does get better as the day goes on. Really it is fingers crossed, isn't it, for some fantastic racing. Yeah, like I say, if the rain stops then we're gonna get a good racing line, so hopefully we can get some really good racing on and it'd be good for the club, but it's their first time and hopefully it all goes well for them and hopefully, you know, it kick off for the start of the year sort of thing. Well, indeed. So, the very best of luck to you yourself, and let's hope that racing does come through. Thank you.
Palmer is there in second spot. A little bit of work to do. Then one, four, three. Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister. Well, that's a good one showing why he's three times British champion. Don't forget Raz Palmer four times. <laughs> just testing, just testing. Round comes Lester and Andy Stevens there with uh, Danny Hogg, an ex-British champion in his own right, right there in second place. Lester stamping his authority on this event now. Having an equal time with Raz in that barn record. Put them on a level peg in, but Lester shows he's cracked it. Last that back for Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. And it's Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister. Round the last turn then, for the last time, nicely spread out, makes it as easy for us here in the caravan. A win for Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens, with Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg in second. Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister in third. No other finishes. 250s was a win for 33, Richard Smith. Second was 16, Adam Ship. Third was 62. We've got the 500 sidecar there. Well, that went on as well. As he plays this commentary box at the moment. Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens are out in front. Clive Willis and Mike Simon, Simpson are pushing hard in second place. But the four times British champion is out in front. And he goes. Lester Goodwin, Andy Stevens powering on. Clive Willis and Mike Simpson not losing sight of them, but they know that it's going to be very hard work to make up any ground on that pairing. Not that it'll make it give them up, but just uh, rewarded to get past those two that are in front of you. Rob Wright and Roland Merritt is coming up there in third place. Piling up the points. Points make prizes. Last lap flag comes out. Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens make it look too easy on their front line. Clive Willis and Mike Simpson in second place, pushing all the way there. And in 33, Rob Wright and Roland Meredith bringing up the rear. Into the last turn for the last time, and I do believe that uh, Clive Willis has made up a few yards there, but it's not enough to take it. Check it back goes for number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens, two from two this afternoon, and joint barn record winner. He's having a good day. Race 29 was a win. Clean cut win for number four, Simon Beard and Rob Graves. In second place was number 151, Ernie Crouch and Paul Rayson. And in third place was number 27. John Hathaway and Stuart Supple. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 15 seconds, a speed of 46.2 miles per hour. Here they come again then. 500 charioteers, that four times. British champion, Lester Goodwin, leads the pack. Down the back straight he goes then. They come round that pitch turn. Tony Crook and Daniel Crawford from uh, Andy Kerrison and Steve Ashby and Keith Richards, Gareth Bemister bringing up the rear. 
Fast and furious on that front line. Tony Cook wants to get past the... All systems go here at High Easter in round one of the Eastern Centre Championships. Best of the wins. Andy Stevens in the chair. That is 1-4 through... Uh, no, sorry, it's 10. Tony Cook and Daniel Crawford. That is 8. Andy Kerrison and Steve Ashby. That is 1-4 through. Let's check out the flag though. More than four times for a chance. Official result in just a moment. First place then in the 500 sidecars this afternoon, the four times British champion, number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. We move on with the 500cc sidecars. And if I can give you that other result again or not, I'll try it quickly. 75, 16, 70, 67, 82, 62, 28, 666, 1, 170, 4 and 50, 1 minute 26 and 2 fifths seconds, 51.6 miles per hour. These are the international sidecar class, the 500ccs. Rubbing up on the line and there they go. Now towards the first corner, number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens pick it up. Right from the start, no messing as they power around that first turn. Few yards clear already. What a brilliant first corner for Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens, the four times British champions. Yeah. Well, number one, Clark Woodis and Mike Simpson. And number seven, Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Then Simon Beard and Richard Sweeting. And Andy Kerrison and Steve Ashby bringing up the rear. What a good array of uh, international sidecars we have here this afternoon. This is the warm-up for the European round next year. Number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Very familiar on British and international European circuits. Very famous for his winning on all of them as well. Flat out. Round the turn, winding up that motor. Number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. From Clive Willis and Mike Simpson. From Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Simon Beard and Richard Sweeting. Andy Kerrison and Steve Ashby. Round the last turn then for the last time, the chequered flag held high. A win for number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. From number one, Clive Willis and Mike Simpson. From Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Simon Beard and Richard Sweeting. Andy Carrison and Steve Ashby. Official result in a jiffy. Race 29 on the line then. We look for Gary Ball and Debbie Bird. Keith Drury and Richard Webb. Barry Bennett, Steve Tong. Lester Goodwin, Andy Stevens, Ernie Crouch and Paul Race. And this is the big one chance. Race 29. Cracking start here at High Easter. Keith Rury, Richard Webb had the best of the start. They pulled a few yards clear of Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. They uh, gated in front of him last time, but he managed to squeeze his way through. Can he do it again this time? It's Keith Rury and Richard Webb from Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. He's Drury showing signs of weakness as he looks over his shoulder to see where Lester Goodwin is. He should have the confidence to know he's far enough in front. He powers it out of that turn. Lester Goodwin is right there behind him. It's Keith Drury and Richard Webb from Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. From Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Then Gary Ball and Debbie Bird and Ernie Crouch and Paul Rayson. Look at those front two. They mean business here. It's Lester Goodwin forces up on the inside. Keith Drury, waiting for Keith Drury to go wide. One lap to go. It's Keith Drury and Richard Webb. Leading from Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. 
But Lester Goodwin will know that a second place here should ensure his place in the final. And that's the one that counts. That's the one the money's on, that's the one the title's for, and that's the one that gets the trophy. Here they come, out of the turn then, and a cracking win, none the same for Keith Drury and Richard Webb from Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens in second place. Barry Bennett and Steve Tong in third. Best point scorer from the heats was three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens, the four times British champions. Looks at the moment like we're going to get a runoff for that left hand side car, so you're going to get an extra race, and I think that's going to be a battle. It was close enough finish that time, I don't think get any closer than that. This is the 500cc side car final. Three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Ten, Tony Cook and Daniel Crawford. Nine, Keith Drury and Richard Webb. 71, Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. Four, Simon Beard and Richard Sweeting and 23. Tony Stark and Darren Wood, there they go, down the first straight. Who's it going to be? Hell for Leather into the first corner. Picking it up is Raz Palmer. 71, Raz Palmer coming good in the final. In second place at the moment is Lester Goodwin. He chases after Raz Hart on this, the high Easter European circuit. What a lovely track it is. What a gorgeous day's racing we've had. And Raz Palmer is leading the 500cc final from Lester Goodwin. From Simon Beard. Oh, oh, we didn't need that little bit of coming together there, those two sidecars, and out goes Richard Webb, and out goes Tony Stark. Four outfits only remaining in this one. And they're on their way round. Raz Palmer is leading it. Lester Goodwin is in second place and pushing hard on the outside. Is it going to be another one of those tricks where he push hard on the outside right to the last corner? Lester Goodwin does seem to have a little bit more speed going into that corner, but he needs to get the race in line and Raz Palmer won't give it away voluntarily. Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens fighting it out on the front line. And Simon Beard and Richard Sweeting. And Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Now just watch these last two because there's a closing laps coming up. Round that pit's turn, Lester Goodwin gets a good inside run, but Raz Palmer won't let him in there. Raz Palmer keeps making him go round the outside, and we've got two more laps to go of this thrilling chase. What's going to happen? Raz Palmer, a very experienced campaigner, getting the grip to the ground where he needs it. Lester Goodwin, fighting hard in second place. He knows how hard it's going to be to get past this man. They come round that pit's turn one more time, they will see the last lap flag in front of them. They'll know it's now or never, and Lester Goodwin comes through. Lester Goodwin comes through. Raz Palmer relegated to second position there. Lester Goodwin now powering down that back straight. Raz Palmer in second place chasing him. Into the last turn they come. Lester Goodwin got it all his own way now as Raz Palmer chases round in second place. The checkered flag goes. A win for Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Second Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. Followed by Simon Beard and Richard Sweeting. And then Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. And in first place, it's quite used to winning up here, don't I, really? Lesson will win, and Andy Stevens! up on the exit of that corner. The four times British champion of this class. Number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens, taking a bit of a wide line around that pits corner. Mike Reed and Mike Thorpe are right there in second place. And it's 
and Pete Langram, Kay Colborn. And Mike Stoke and M Davis bringing up the rear. Flat out and making the dust fly. Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens making it look easy. Mike Reed. Mark Thorne. Rodan Wright and, and uh, Rob Meredith. Rob Wright and Rodan Meredith. I know I'll get it right in a minute. Last lap flag coming out then. Again, they're quite well spread out. Making it easy for me here in the caravan. Number three, that's a good win. Andy Stevens. Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Rob Wright and Robin Meredith. Then it's Pete Langram and Kay Colborn. Mike Stote and M Davis bringing up the rear there. Last time, here they come. Check it, flag is out. Let's go and Andy Stevens take the win. Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe in second place. Rob Wright and Robin Meredith. Pete Langram and Kay Colborn. These are the 500cc sidecars, the international class of sidecar. Well, of course, trimmers. Race 21. Clive Willis had a win first time out. So did Leicester Goodwin. What's going to happen here? We have a little bit of topsy turvy on the star line. The race is being permitted to carry on, so round the first turn they come then. Looks like Raz Palmer leading. Looks like Leicester Goodwin in second place. Down the back straight they go then. A little bit of a problem on the start. The red flags are now out. The red flags are now out. The race being stopped. Raz Palmer won't be so happy at that. Having got away in front of Leicester Goodwin, it would have been interesting to see if he could have hung on to it for four laps. More about those dates and things later. These are the 500cc sidecars. The rerun of race 21 and number one, Clive Willis. And Leicester Goodwin on the inside, going up the inside of Raz Palmer. Raz Palmer sliding back into second place and cutting back underneath. And what a great manoeuvre there by Raz Palmer as he goes back out in front. Can he hold on to it though? Leicester Goodwin, the four times British champion, is right there after him in second place. Raz takes a little bit of a step off the base, cuts back nicely as he comes around that turn. Leicester Goodwin's right there. And Raz Palmer and Andy Stevens, Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens, Michael Lister, Mike Lipson. It's all happening on that front line. Look at Leicester Goodwin going after Raz Palmer on the outside. Down the straight they go, Raz Palmer just holding on to it from Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens in second place. Fast and furious round the pits turn. It's all action here in the international sidecars. It's 71, Raz Palmer and Danny Holt from Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Mike Simpson, then Pete Langer, and then Rob Wright, Robert Meredith. Oh, it's all happening at Hawley. Watch that Leicester Goodwin. He's aiming up on the inside this time as he goes into that pits turn. Throws it sideways, Raz Palmer and Danny Holt holding on to a slender advantage as they come past the last lap flag now. Raz Palmer and Danny Holt, and Andy Stevens, four times British champion, second place. Excellent British champion, once win for Raz Palmer, he holds on to it through those Leicester Goodwin on the inside, it's right side stuff as they go into that last turn. Raz Palmer won't give an inch. Leicester Goodwin pushing hard in second place, they come up to the line, who's he going to be? It is Raz Palmer and Danny Holt from Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Clive Willis and Mike Simpson. And Pete Langham and Kay Colborn. And 33, Rob White and Rodan Meredith. What a race that was. Here they come then, the 500cc sidecars down the first straight. Leicester Goodwin gets the best. Second place. Raz did beat Leicester earlier in the leg two, and uh, Leicester, I think, uh, I gonna make, ain't going to make that mistake this time. He's out in front. He is a four times a British champion. He goes for his British championships again next week. Can he get a fifth one? Number three. Leicester could win. Andy Stevens down the back straight. Around the pits turn, well clear of Raz Palmer in second place, who in turn is well clear of Keith Richards, who in turn is well clear of Rob Wright. Powering on. Down the back straight. 
making it look so easy as he goes around there. Raz Palmer in second place, paced him, but uh, doesn't seem to be able to make any ground. Out comes the last lap flag, it is three. That's Raz Palmer and Danny Hall. Gareth Semester. Roland Wright and Rob Meredith. Rob Wright, Rob Wright and Roland Meredith bringing up the rear. Flat out. Last turn, last time. Check it takes Roland. Let's take a bit of Andy Stevens. Rose Palmer and Danny Hogg. Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister. Rob Wright and Roland Meredith. Official result in a jiffy. 500cc international sidecars. Those were the sidecars on the wrong side to turn left. Here they come. Flat out down the straight. Mike Reed gets the right. Into the turn they go and Lester Goodwin gets clear. Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Clive Willis and Mike Simpson in second place. Mike Reed and Mark Thorne dropping down to third. Keith Richards and Gareth Bremenster in fourth place. High, wide and handsome out of that turn. Number three, Lester Goodwin. And Andy Stevens. And Mike Simpson. And Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Shame we didn't get to... Raz Palmer in this one, uh, only man to beat Leicester here this afternoon, he would have been good if he could have been in the final, but this is the final and this is what's happening. Leicester Goodwin, Andy Stevens leading at half distance, Mike Simpson, 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 Last lap flag then. Lester Goodwin and Mike Simpson. Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Keith Richards and uh, Gareth Bannister. Then Pete Langram. I can't remember his passenger's name. Didn't get the first name anyway. And then Rob Bright and Robert Meredith bringing up the rear. The checkered flag is out. This is it for the strimmers. Lester Goodwin and Andy Mike Willis and Mike Simpson, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Keith Richards, Gareth Bemister, Pete Mangle and I another. Rob Wright and Roland Meredith bringing up the rear there. Official result in a moment. This is the continental style of sidecar racing that has been adopted by all those countries. And I'm pleased to say that whenever we see the European Championships, we always have extremely good representation. Now for the first time this afternoon, we've got number 33, Rob Wright and Rhoda Meredith. Tony Stark and Darren Wood. Tony Cook and Ronnie Stewart in the chair for him this afternoon. Andy Carrison, Lester Goodwin and Clive Willis. Number 33, Tony Stark on the inside. It is Stark, it has got to the front as they go into that first turn. Clive Willis, I can see, back in first spot. Lester Goodwin on the inside, though. He's the one, perhaps, to watch as he goes up that back straight. Looking to try and get a position going into the top turn to get himself in front, but Clive Willis has seen a gap on the inside of him. He looks to come through as well. Tony Stark has got the lead and looks like holding it into that bottom turn they go once again. And Clive Willis in that second spot, looking for Lester Goodwin once again. He's moved up into third place. But as they come off that top turn, it is Elton. And Andrew Stevenson has come to the front. And number one, Clive Willis. And Mike Simpson sitting there in second spot, but at the moment watching the Goodwins move away from them. One more lap to go for Leicester to take his first win this afternoon. He's now got his own little battle on because he's under pressure from third place Andy Kerrison. Andy and Steve Ashby trying to close as they move up the back straight. Looking for second place. And is there problems for Clive Willis? He puts his hand in the air. Andy Kerrison takes it. Willis hoping he's still there to get some points as they come to the line. But that's very, very disappointing for them for the first race of the afternoon. 
now we get a chance to see number 71 of Brian Palmer for the very first time this afternoon. Clive Willis is one of those crews that is not going this time. So he's got to sit in the pits and watch what's happening. Brian Palmer goes after him as they go into that first turn. Now as they come around that bottom corner, it all gets a bit close for second and third, but Lester Goodwin is looking like making this one his once again as he comes around off that top turn. Lester Goodwin and Andrew Seaford in Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg in second place. Third place with Andy Kerrison and Dave Johnson. And I ought to mention that Dave Johnson, who passengers for Andy Kerrison this afternoon, he is out for the very first time as a passenger. So what a way to get used to 500cc sidecar racing. Well, there again, some of the best we've got in the country. And Andy Kerrison working hard, consolidating that third place. Brian Palmer doesn't look to have an answer to Lester Goodwin at the moment. And as that last lap flag is being brought out now for them coming off that top turn, it is Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens keeping the pressure on. I'm sure that the pits have informed all these riders that there will be no final at the end of the day. It is all about point scoring and what better way than two maximums from two rides. Well, as they come off that top turn, that does look as if it's going to be two rides, two maximums for Lester Goodwin and Andy Kerrison. Yeah. Palmer and Danny Hogg in second, Andy Kerrison and Dave Johnson in third. Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister finishing in fourth. So race 33 then we go with the 500cc sidecars continuing their campaign this afternoon. As he dives into the lead going into that first turn. And they start to sort themselves out going down the back straight. Lester and Andrew Stevens. Almost making an error as they come around that first bend, losing the lead, but they've got it back again and again. They've gone very, very wide, but they've kept the speed on. And he's up in second place, and I've got to say he's been getting quicker as the afternoon's gone on. Mentioned to you earlier that Dave Johnson, his new passenger, is out for the very first time this afternoon, and he's very quickly getting used to it. And this really is in good company this afternoon that he's uh, had his debut ride. Starting to stamp their authority. It has closed up a little bit in that second, third and fourth place. That is the last lap flag is made ready for Lester Goodwin. This is going to be yet another win for him. Thought we were going to see a bit of change there in that second place, but Andy Kerrison manages to hang on to it. Tony Cook definitely trying to get second from him. Just nosed in front of him, but back comes Andy Kerrison as the checker flag is made ready, and Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens make it three out of three. Andy Kerrison finishing in second, and I'll leave it to the lap scorers to decide who was third and fourth. Return to the 500 sidecars, as I mentioned. Race 41 in your program. Oh, can he do it again? And Andrew Stevens have been unbeaten so far this afternoon. But at the moment, they're back in third place, so they've got some work to do this time. Brian Palmer, it is, has got to the front. Oh, I do believe that's Andy Kerrison that's in second, and Lester Goodwin now moves through into second place. It is Brian Palmer out of the lead. And Brian 
Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg have now got in close contention to them the outfit of Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens. Well, what can he do about it? He hasn't been in this position yet so far this afternoon. He's now got a work for the lead if he's going to get it. Pulls it in tight coming out of that top turn. Brian knows he's there. Faster line down the straight. He'll be able to get through on the inside. Has he got to go for a wide line round the outside? Oh, Lester Goodwin certainly closer this time and he finds a gap on the inside. The two of them locked together as they go into this top turn. Oh, we've certainly seen this before and Lester Goodwin has got the better line coming out of the bend. One more lap to go. Oh, will they change lines? Will they look for a way through on the last turn? Lester Goodwin very much under control now, but Brian Palmer won't give up, you can be guaranteed of that. It's getting closer for that third place as well as they come towards the checkered flag. This has been a good one for the 500s. Lester Goodwin takes it, Brian Palmer in second, Keith Richards in third, Andy Kerris in fourth. Before I really call up the winners this afternoon, I've got to say that there was a little bit of a wish said to me earlier on this afternoon for these guys that have won the event overall. I think you'll agree. They are in absolutely tremendous form. The whole crew this afternoon wants to wish these guys the very best for their European final next weekend. And I think all our thoughts go with them as well. Because the winners this afternoon are Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens. <laughs> Not any relation by any chance, eh? <laughs> Well, I'm going to ask a quick word because it was mentioned to me about this Euro fine. I know you were out in Holland yesterday. Really is going well in Europe for you. What seriously are your chances for next week? Uh, we're as good as any other body. You know, there's 12 of us out there and we're all keyed up to have a go. And It's not a big track, so it's five good starts and, you know, confidence is high and we're going to have a go. Absolutely. I think I'm going to have to get some phone numbers before we go tonight because whilst I'm up there at the Masters, I want to know what happens with this Euro final. Because I've got to really ask, when you, you know, you're keying yourself up for these big European tracks and everything else, it must be nice to come back here with a home crowd. Yeah, it's good to race on a circuit like this, you know, it's probably as good as a track that you're going to get abroad, you know. It's a perfect track for 500 sidecar racing, it's good to have them here and you can really have a go here. And there's good riders here and hopefully, they, you know, for the bonfire burn-up, we're going to get some better riders and have a real good go. Excellent. Well, that's what we want to see. And I won't let you run off without having a word, Andrew. Please, with this afternoon's... <laughs> oh, well, this is going to be another one of them, isn't it? Please, with this afternoon's performance. Yeah, happy with everything. The track was brilliant. We rode good again. And hopefully next weekend, our luck's there as well. Well, I think we'll all keep our fingers crossed for you next weekend. Well done this afternoon. The winners of the 500 sidecar, let's go with it, Andrew Stevens. few more coming to the line this time. We look for David Johnson and David Johnson. Is he doing both jobs? Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Rob Wright and Rodan Meredith. Ras Palmer, Danny Hogg. Paul Moorcock, Scott Dunn. Unfortunately, only Crouch and non-starter. Here they come. Five riders down to the first turn. Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Pick it up. Ras Palmer right in there in second place. Chasing hard. But Lester Goodwin pulls away down that back straight. Dust starts to rise at the bottom of the hill. You'd think it'd be wetter down there, wouldn't you? Number three, that's a good win on Andy Stevens. Five times for the champions. Show they've still got what it takes. And uh, number 170, David Johnson and David Johnson. They're uh, parked up on the centre green after spinning there, but it's number three. Out in front, that's a good win on Andy Stevens. From Brad Palmer and Danny Hogg in second place. Then Paul Morthoff and Scott Dunn. Rob Wright and Rodan Meredith bringing up the rear. Last lap flag for Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Back to the deep repaired equipment. Really on the song here this afternoon. From Tunbridge in Kent. He picks up his first win in the afternoon. Just looking how close Raz Palmer was at the finish there. One little mistake and he'd have been through, but the mistake wasn't coming. Raz Palmer had to settle for second. Paul Moorcock, a good ride for him in third place there. And then Rob Wright and Ronan Meredith.
Bring up the rear in four. We move in to the 500cc sidecar final. This is the big one, chaps, for the 500cc chariots this afternoon. Qualified riders are eight. Andy and Laura Carrison. 71, Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. Three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Five hundred cc sidecar final. Then over the top three, and then we get number ten, Tony Cook and Terry Greenwood. One four three, Keith Richards and Gareth Emerson. One two three, four more gone. And Scott Dunn. There they go into the first turn. It is Leicester Goodwin, the five times British champion, that leads down the back straight. Sideways action round that turn, and look at Braz Palmer right there in hot contention. Just waiting for a mistake. Then it's one four three, Keith Richards. Then it's Tony Cook. Then it's Paul Walk off. Down to five riders only in this one. Another man is on the centre green there. That's Andy Carrison. With daughter Laura. They've done very bravely to get back on the line at all. Number three. Leicester Goodwin. And Andy Stevens powering down the back straight. Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg are right there. In second place and challenging hard. There goes the last lap play. Now it's number three. Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister. Tony Cook and Terry Greenaway. Round they come. The checkered flag is out. It's a win for Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens from Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. Close as you can get there. And it's uh, Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister, Tony Cook and Terry Greenway, and Paul Walcock and Scott Dunn. Here we are with reigning champion Lester Goodwin, uh, going for five in a row. Everything fine after practice? Yeah, everything's going good. Just changed a few things for the second practice. Bike's going even quicker now, so we can make five good starts, I'm, and I'm up for it, so we're going to be there. I've seen your results from abroad, you've not done a lot in this country, but when you have, you've, uh, you're unbeaten. Hopefully today that'll keep going for yourself. How's it been going abroad? Yeah, it's been going very good abroad. I've won three meetings in Holland so far, and a couple of seconds and thirds in Germany. So this year, Touchwood, everything's been going spot on and it's going to go better today, hopefully. And hopefully today, a little bit of history, first, first driver for five. Well, not, I'm not the first, Cecil Taylor's got five, so hopefully to equal his record and go on to beat it, hopefully. Right, thanks a lot, good luck for today. Cheers, mate. So, good line-up in race five, in fact, a cracking line-up in race five. 23, Tony Stark, with passenger Darren Wood, going incredibly quickly in practice. 143, Keith Richard and Gary Beamister. Number seven, the local crew, Barry Bennett and Steve Tong, 56. Young Wayne Reed, 20 years of age, with Clive Preston in the chair, up from uh, Wimborne. Tony Cook, the veteran, with Dan Crawford in the chair, and the reign of British champions, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. It's got to be Lester who leads into the first turn. No, it isn't. It's Tony Stark, believe it or not. And Tony Stark. I thought we were going to lead off the road. Second place, Barry Bennett in third, that's the one, two, three. As they go into the bottom turn, they're all together. Off the bend, it's Goodwin, Stark and Bennett. Barry Bennett, a really tight line going into the left corner to our right. Barry Bennett in third at the moment, but look at this, Stark pushing. Lester Goodwin all the way as they go into the bottom turn. The British champions lead, but only by about five metres. Goodwin. And Stephen Glee from Tony Stark. And passenger Darren Moore in second place. Then we got Barry Bennett from behind Barry Bennett. This is Tony Cook. Tony Cook. Tony Cook's really on the inside of Barry Bennett. John Barney with the last lap leg at the ready, but Lester Goodwin's got his act together and he's pulling away. Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens with a bag of 70 or 40 metre lead. And disaster for the local crew. Barry Bennett and Steve Tong are left. Out of the, the, the mechanical problem as we move to our left. The checkered flag is ready. 
It is going to be a win for number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Second place is going to go to Tony Stark and Darren Wood. Third place to number 10, Tony Cook with Dan Crawford in the chair. And behind them, in fourth place, young Wayne Reed with Clive Preston in the chair. <laughs> so we've got Lester Goodwin, Dave Higgins, Wayne Reed, Mike Reed, Brian Canny, Peter Langram. Should be a good one, but go on, are they going to get on level terms with Lester? We shall see. Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens at number three, the reigning champions. Lester been the champion for the last four years. On the maximum score of 14 points at the moment is Lester. Where we go. And it is Lester Goodwin who leads, but we have way We have uh, three seniors and two juniors. Second and third spots in fourth place. Behind them, we've got Brian Canning. Lester not getting away from Mike Reed by that much. So it's Lester Goodwin, Andy Stevens. Young Wayne absolutely flying into the bottom turn, trying to get on terms with his dad, but uh, that it is, he's still on second spot. Brian Canning still early fourth, still in fifth place, number five. Dave Higgins to Roger Smith. A lap and a bit to go. And still Lester, not getting away from the lead by that much. Lester Goodwin, Andy Stevens. Mike Green and Mark Cross, Green and Green and Brian Preston, that's the leading three. That's the man from Stafford, Brian Canning, with Steve George in the chair. Second place, he went to number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Second place goes to Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe, and third place to 56, Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. So the line-up, Lester Goodwin, Mike Reed. Simon Beard, Wayne Reed, Ricky Neal, Paul Moorcock, unbeaten so far this afternoon, the 2001, the 2000, the 1999, the 1998 champion from Tonbridge, Lester Goodwin, passengered by Andy Stevens on the VMC GM. Five hundred side cars, first semi final, we get the serious stuff now. Where we go, first time. And Lester on the inside, Simon Beard on the outside. Or Lester it is. But Simon Beard up there with him and Simon Beard tremendous corner. As they go into the bottom turn for the first time, Simon Beard, great at a riding, but he gets it all locked up on the bottom turn, loses a little bit, Lester then. Out in front, Simon Goodwin. Then, it is Reed Senior, followed by Reed Jr. And the two Reeds up to the center there. But look at this, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens, they've just gone away and left the rest of them. So, the man who's won the British Championship, four years in succession. Is he heading for his fifth British title? Good when it is then, the lead. From in second place, Simon Beard and Mark Thorpe. In third place, it is Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe, then Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. That's the order as they go into the bottom turn and out of the bottom turn, into the last lap. The order is still the same. Back there in fifth, number 11, Ricky Neal. And then Paul Walcott. Battling on the second though. Mike Reed trying to come round the outside of Simon Beard. Who's it going to be? Lester Goodwin wins it. Second place goes to Simon Beard. Third place to Mike Reed. Fourth place to Wayne Reed. Fifth place to Ricky Neal. And sixth place to 123. Paul Moorcock. Looking back through history, Cecil Taylor won a lot of these. He never won five in a row. Nick Radley won a lot. He never won five in a row. It'll be history of Leicester 
gets five in a row. He's the only guy to win it as a passenger and as a driver. Right, C Colin's going outside because he's going to shout. I don't know who he's going to shout for, but he's going to shout. He's gone to the right, so I think he joined the Goodwin mob. <laughs> who are you going to, who are you going to shout for, Colin? Hey? <laughs> I don't know who he's going to shout for. Honest, honest. Right. Right, we look to our left. Oh, and nearly an end over end on the line by Leicester Goodwin, and it's Palmer who leads into the first turn, but here comes Leicester up the inside, but it's Ras Palmer and Leicester Goodwin, and that is a tangle on the first turn, it really was a tangle, and uh, Brian Palmer is not happy about that, so we'll see what the clerk of the course does about that, and... Uh, we're into the top turn for the second time, and uh, we got a leg. We got a we got Brian Palmer's leg stuck in the bike, I think. So we got a nasty one. I don't know this is going to be stopped, but we have got uh, a nasty one in the middle. And whether Keith to wear that, I don't know. We got Tony Cook in the middle. We stumbled across the track. So we look to our left, and uh, oh, the circle nearly from Leicester Goodwin, but he holds on to a club when he's still there in second in third place. It is still Tony Stark and in fourth place behind him, number 57, Mike Root and Mark North. And uh, Mark Wadsworth gone over to help, I think, but uh, the race continues. The checkered flag, the winner, is Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Second place goes to number four, Simon Beard and Bob Greaves. Third place to number 23, Tony Stark and Darren Wood. And fourth place to number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Dorp. So, we'll give you that result as we see it. Right, the winner and the vote on the time cards today, Mike, last year, the year before, the year before, the year before that. He's the only vote to win it. The only vote to win it for the passengers as well. Let's the good win and Andy Stevens. Give them two, right? So only little. That's the five times in a row. Must be good glory. Nice getting out of it. Hey, we are there. You're not allowed to go quicker. You're going to as you get older. No, they're going quicker. They're getting up to that. We've got people one step ahead of them. I think we could still be one step ahead of them next year. Very good. British champions, once today, the last two women, Andy Stevens. Well, the long way home to get. Take all of your talent if you want to take your pictures. He brought to the starting tapes. What can Lester Goodwin do on the inside? Oh, they get underway. And he's going left on the game. As the rest dive into that first turn. Lester Goodwin slotting into second at the moment. I believe that's Carl Kill that's got to the front, but we're checking that as they come round past me. Great disappointment for Andy Currison there, left on the start line. He's got to work very, very hard to get back into contention. But Lester Goodwin in second place. Can he get the lead back? It is indeed number five, Carl Kill. over the second time, trying to slow things down as they go into that bend. You can see that Lester Goodwin got very, very close going into the bend, and I'm sure that's done deliberately. 
what he'll do is he'll slow up going into the bend, which means he does get the good line around the bend. And then hopefully he can bring the power on gently as he come out of the bend and drive up the finishing straight. in third place and it really is a question of whether Lester Goodwin can catch Carl Kiel. No such luck at the moment as Carl Kiel puts the pressure on once again, drives hard into that pit bend. This is the last lap flag for them this time as they come round and Carl Kiel and Ray Coulter setting the pace in front of Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens. Number six, Clive Willis and Mike Simpson still trying to stay in contention, but they are really letting that go gap open up a bit too much. And Carl Kill certainly looks as if he's done enough as he sees the checkered flag this time as he comes round. So first time out this afternoon, it's a win for number five, Carl Kill and Reddy So we now change our tanks. We have... Uh, on number boards on the same side as they were for the solos. We're of course with the 750cc Saikar yes, Internationals. And quickly looking at this lineup, I can see that we've got Josef Onderka and Martin Van Vrasrama because they had a win first time out. What can they do as the track does look to be drying out? Up against number four, Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens. They've got a much better starting position this time. They're a lot further out. Not in the deep stuff on the inside, they're on the, almost the racing line in uh, gate four. Also adding to the interest, we've got number five, Carl Kiel and uh, Rennie Falter. They had a win first time out as well. Joined by number eight, Andy Kerrison. And uh, have we got number 12, Keith Drury? Don't think we have. Well, I'm not really sure what the problem is, but by the look of it, Andy Kerrison and Gareth Bemister have had to pull out. they pushed the outfit onto the inside, so four outfits only, but still a very interesting one in prospect because we've got both heat winners from the first legs. That's Joseph Onderka and Carl Kill. Mixed in with them, second place for Lester Goodwin. What can he do this time? Lester Goodwin has got there as well. So this certainly could be an interesting one because Josef von Derke is in third place at the moment. He's the one with all the work to do. Carl Kiel away as they go down the back straight. Lester Goodwin under pressure now already from Josef von Derke. And as they look to come together in that bottom bend, who's going to get the better of it? Well, Carl Kiel certainly has as they go up the straight. Joseph Onderka is getting to Lester Goodwin. He's pushing him on, willing him to chase after Carl Kill. Don't let him get away from us, he's saying. Just keep going. Oh, you can see they're working hard in that second place, but Carl Kill does look to have the advantage. Oh, Lester Goodwin doing very, very well to keep out Joseph Onderka at the moment. And Onderka's a lot closer this time. He's looking on the inside. He gets there. Now, what can he do about Carl Kill? He certainly won the battle for that second place. He looks to be very quick, particularly coming out of this pit bend. And that's where he seems to get the advantage. You can see he almost rolls it off completely going into the bend, lines himself up, and this is where he puts the drive on. Looks down at machinery. I'm not quite sure whether they've got problems in that second spot, but this is a good ride once again from Carl Kill and Rennie Falter. Holding off uh, fellow countrymen Josef von Derke and uh, Martin van Plaskershammer. And here they come this time, they're looking for a wider line. It's going to be the checkered flag, and he was done enough. Josef von Derke gets second, but he certainly let him know he was there. And Lester Goodwin has to be content with third. This is the last of the qualifying rides for the international sidecars.
very tight on this start line. Lester Goodwin saying, no, I'm not moving. <laughs> he's got his place, he's staying there. Clive Willis not happy with things, but uh, prepared to go with it by the look of it. He's got a tremendous start and he's got himself to the front. Malcolm Goodwin is locked in behind him. Ras Palmer in third at the moment. And Clive Willis on the outside of him. Ras Palmer looking to go around the outside of Malcolm Goodwin though. So Ras Palmer and Danny Hall get up into second place as Lester Goodwin and that's the pace. Oh, Brian, all sorts of problems for Malcolm Goodwin again. I understand that he blew an engine in practice as well. He's not had a good day at all, Malcolm Goodwin. Again, he pulls off in the centre of the circuit. Now, Raz Palmer coming under pressure from Clive Willis in that bottom turn. Clive Willis looking for second place. Now, Clive is right up there on the top point. Getting in third place on 11 points. Now, uh, Lester Goodwin was in fourth place on nine points. Now this won't do his campaign any harm at all. This, I think, in fact, will guarantee a place in the final. Now, Raz Palmer's not going to give up, though. He tries the outside line again, going into that pit turn. No means out of the question is number 12, Keith Drury and Richard Webb. Good to see them back out there again after that tumble in the very first ride this afternoon. And in fact, looking to try and get third place by the look of it. Checker flag will be made ready for them this time and this is going to be the win that I think Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens so desperately wanted. They've had a second and a third. Now they've got the win. And let's get them up here and receive your applause because we start winning third place as always in motorsport and it's great to see Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens. You got your mum down here supporting you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the rest of them. <laughs> now, I mean, Lester, the first thing I've got to ask you is, I had a chat with um, Malcolm this morning about these bigger engines and everything else. But it's not just the engines, is it? These Germans are a bit good. Yeah, there's something special about that one, Dirk. It's about time he give up because it's just, it's just unbeatable at the moment. It's just, it's just different class. Well, we'll see what he's got to say when we get him up here later, but uh, I think really the, the theme of all the conversations tonight are going to be really the conditions of the track. How did it affect your racing this afternoon? Um, it wasn't too bad. Once we got the top off the track, there was a good racing line there, but there was only one racing line, and to be honest, we were very lucky that the meeting was on altogether, but everybody mucked in and we all had a go, and it's good for the supporters and everybody that there was a meeting. Well, indeed it was good. And Andrew, I'm not going to let you escape because I will get a quick word with you. I mean, I always think that, you know, it's a tough track, this one, for passengers. You've enjoyed your racing this afternoon. Oh, yeah, it's been brilliant. The club's done very well. And, well, we just pleased the weather held out, really. Well, pleased it held out. And you're up on the rostrum. Be it in third place. <coughs> yeah, it's nice. But it's two again. We've got to beat the Germans, haven't we? <laughs> well you have, well, I think on that note we wish you the very best for next season out there competing against them again in third place then in the 750cc Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens So as we now go to the 750 side cars turn over your page to page 11 and if like me you now discover that the if you've written very hard on the uh, programme you've now got all the results of the one before so all across the uh, 750 sidecar chart, but these things are sent to dry us right in race three. In your program, we will see out for the first time Malcolm Goodwin and Gary Rockall, Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens, who won the flying lap, Rick Dyfus and Francis McGrath, Brian and Dan Palmer and Danny Hogg, Raymond DeRoy and Richard Palmer. Half a lap 
away and going into that pit bend for the first time. So let's pick it up for you as they come down past us because we've got... look to be out there so we'll find out who it was that hasn't gone but at the moment it's Malcolm Goodwin and very very nice. Marco Hansluka who has been to this circuit before he was passenger to Tommy Coon last year when they came over here a very very good top class passenger that he really wanted on the start line but with the rest of the race we'll uh, We've realised now it's Brian Palmer that's not out there. And we've got number 23, Tony Stark. So those problems that Brian had during his flying lap, obviously, not necessarily. Taken away from both the Goodwins, because Melbourne Goodwin and Gary Rockle have read, led from the start. And they again seem to be hiding the up. He closes right up on Malcolm Goodwin, tries to go around the outside. Malcolm Goodwin holds it tight, it's going to be close. Malcolm Goodwin takes it, Lester Goodwin in second. some drive coming off this start line but meanwhile while I turn my attention off of them onto the front runners it is Lester Goodwin that's got to the front and already looking very comfortable they're in second place so coming in as reserve Tony Stark having a very good ride he had a third place first time out and number seven, Brian Palmer, who knows he's got a lot of work to do in his last two rides. He stands any sort of chance of getting into the final. Third place, chasing Those three really have no the rest of the field. There's Marco Hansruka and Mario Siebert are sitting there in fourth place, but really have not been happy with things this afternoon. We turn our attention to the 750 sidecars and let's give you the position as we go into these last rides because going, or should I say, out in front at the moment is uh, with two rides and two wins, number one, Malcolm Goodwin and Gary Rockle. We, won't, we will see them in this one and uh, they come to the line going on that inside gate number one. Number 10, Keith Drury and Reinhard Schubert are on 12 points. Number 3, Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens are on 12 points as well. They go in this one. And, uh, and number 23, the reserve doing very well, that's Tony Stark. Go in because uh, he is obviously taking one of the other rides. Uh, he's on nine points. Number six, Alphon and Hilbert and Franz Hilbert uh, on eight points. Number seven, Lester Goodwin has got a better of 
bit. Malcolm Goodwin is back in what is possibly third place at the moment as they sort themselves out, get around that first turn. But it's Lester Goodwin that's got away and goes down that back straight. So where is the challenge going to come from? As we pick them up for you as they come round past me, again cautiously going round these first couple of turns. Getting to see how the service is. Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg working away in that is now fourth place. As they've let Malcolm Goodwin go through. But at the moment it's all eyes on Lester Goodwin because he really has got away from the rest of the field. This will be his second win of the afternoon. Richard Mulhews in second place. Malcolm Goodwin and Gary Rockwell in third. Brian Palmer hasn't given up as he goes around the outside of Malcolm Goodwin and gets that third place back. Now the both of them starting to close on Raymond DeRoy as they go into this pit bend. Brian Palmer again looking for the outside. Now, can Malcolm Goodwin follow him? Raymond DeRoy still there in third place at the moment, but Malcolm Goodwin has seen what Brian Palmer did. Can he do the same thing? He closes up on him in that third place. And look at the distance that Lester Goodwin has got. The checker flag is made ready. Goodwin and Gary Rockwell will get through to third. So that's certainly going to make the point situation interesting. So the tension begins to mount. This is the first of the A finals, the 750cc sidecar. Will it be one of the good wins? Can somebody else be a spoiler? Can Keith Fury do it? All the talk this morning was about this different CC. Well, the good start problems as the outfits go over going into that first turn immediately a red flag is up right on the inside number 10 Keith Drury next to him Lester Goodwin next to him Malcolm Goodwin we've then got number three I'm sure it's the number 23 Tony Stark number seven Brian Farmer and number 12 Clive Willis We've just seen an absolutely fantastic 1,000cc sidecar. because he was putting in some very quick times earlier on this afternoon as indeed the race is starting to get sorted out the early lead then with number one Malcolm Goodwin as he goes round that top bend but it's all getting very tight in second, third and fourth as Malcolm Goodwin and Gary Goodwin and Andrew Stevens so that's the front three at the moment as Malcolm Goodwin and Gary Rockle have got away They've got Brian Palmer in second place, who's desperately trying to make sure that gap doesn't get too big. Remember, it is six big laps that they've got to complete. Malcolm Goodwin, a very, very tight line for Malcolm Goodwin. Let's see if he's going to get Lester Goodwin looking to close on Brian Palmer as they go into that bottom turn. I'm still watching to see if Keith Drury can get himself elevated up through the field. He's back in the fifth place at the moment looking for fourth. So the front three at the moment still with Malcolm Goodwin and Jeremy. Remember, it's done it really the hard way. They've run their way through in the B final and got this place in the A. They're indeed out there with a very, very strong challenge before the race was stopped. And if we look to see the gaps closing a little bit, Malcolm Goodwin and Jeremy. after the coming together here in this bottom bend. Well, Brian Palmer looks to be closing Malcolm Goodwin down. There is one more lap to go. Malcolm Goodwin has certainly been taking it cautiously. He's holding a very tight line, but Brian Palmer, I think, is sensitive. That's opportunity. He's going to as he goes into that bottom bend. Lester Goodwin is trying to stay 
there with him. Brian Palmer, right on that bottom bend. Malcolm Goodman must know he's there now. He must know he's got a challenge on. As he goes into that last bend, Brian Palmer's going to go for it. Brian Palmer goes round the outside. Malcolm Goodman must have wondered where he'd come from. He keeps the power on. Malcolm Goodman has to drive for the line. Leicester Goodwin in third. So that was the 750 sidecar Battle of Britain, a final. We had to do a restart. But indeed, a very, very determined ride. An excellent start from Malcolm Goodwin. He hung on to it all the way through the six laps. To welcome up on the stage, picking up third place this afternoon. Normally talk about how many British championships he's won, but we'll start this afternoon with third place. Battle of Britain 2003, Leicester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens! <laughs> well done indeed guys, Leicester I will have a quick word because uh, we can see that Andrew's limping and I done it. did I just hear that it's just bruises? Yep, that's all, just bruises. So a few weeks rest in bed and then back out racing in about a month's time. No, we leave Wednesday for Germany, so... Where we go Absolutely, and uh, on that other note, I just heard John ask you, Lester, no serious damage to the outfit? No, not that we know, but we'll have to get it home, get it all checked out properly, and hopefully, like Andrew said, it's okay for Wednesday. And Wednesday, tell me a little bit more about Wednesday. Long journey. Uh, <laughs> we're at Irksheim on Thursday, so we've got to leave Wednesday to get there, so we've got to go to Holland first now to pick up an engine, so it's early, early Wednesday now. <laughs> Well, well done indeed. Sorry to say it's only third place. There's a tough competition out there this afternoon. Leicester Goodwin and 